Hey, what's up guys? This is Chris with Platinum Plus Productions. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to replace a compression driver in a PV Neo speaker. Alright, now I've got the speaker apart on the floor already. Um, basically, that process, if you find a screw, unscrew it, take it out. You have to take off the grill to get the speaker apart. Um, I even took off the boots on the bottom of the speaker, but I don't know if that was necessary or not. I can't remember. Um, it's been laying in my floor for a little bit uh, waiting for the part to get in. So, um, this is what we're replacing right here. It's actually the RX-14 compression driver and uh, basically aka a tweeter. So we're going to replace that today and I'm going to show you how that's done. Okay guys, here's the part that we're going to be replacing right here, the compression driver. This is going to look easy, but I've already um, I've already actually unscrewed it most of the way, um, but I left it on just to show you how it comes off. Uh, you can unscrew it by hand. Um, <laughs> I thought I was going to have to use a plumber's wrench there for a minute. It's really difficult to get off of there, but you can do it by hand. So what you do simply is unscrew the old compression driver and take it off. Take your new compression driver and screw it back on. It really doesn't get much simpler than that. I just wanted to do this video because I didn't see one out there when I was looking for the information on how to do this job. So I went ahead and made one myself. Um, I hope it was useful to you. And uh, all you have to do from here is connect the wires back and um, screw the speaker back together, put the grill back on, and you should be set with your new compression driver. You can Google them, they're about 50 bucks each. It's uh, a lot cheaper than replacing a $200 speaker. So thanks again for watching, and check out my other videos. Yeah! Ha! Come on! Oh, yeah!